here. Seven in the morning, we've been up all night editing. We have got the most crazy schedule. It's been the most insane week. I have been trying to get a collab with, with Drake for the last year and I got it, look at this. <laughs> I've decided I'm going on a heavy film grind this week. We're going out to Paris, then in three days we're gonna to go to Venice, Italy, and then in another three days we're gonna to go to Brussels, Belgium. Anyway, let's get a taxi. Get me. We're at King's Cross St Pancras, the same King's Cross that Harry Potter used to go to Hogwarts. We've got seven minutes to get on this thing. We thought we'd push once, we don't want to push twice. Don't tell my mum. We're about to miss the train, bro. The train's leaving in like five minutes. Are you? Here I come. I have been filming Instagram, Facebook, magic videos, traveling the world, Italy, like beef in Miami, Hawaii, all around the Vine Star magic. And I'm really trying to take YouTube more seriously. I really want to let you guys into my life. The adventures you guys don't see, the behind the scenes you guys don't see. Like, how do I go to all these ridiculous parties? How do I end up on all these collabs? <laughs> so right now I want to introduce you to the team. We've got Nick flying out from New York right now. He's arrived in Paris in three hours. We've got Sebastian, our videographer. What's up, Sebastian? I want to tell you about something crazy that happened, guys. Right, I've been trying to collab with Drake for a year. I managed to get Dave Franco. That's good. That's really good. I managed to get Post Malone. I managed to get a few super big stars. But I want to go on and tell you about what happened with Drake and show you a little bit later in the vlog. Okay. Made it to Paris. I've literally been up all night editing. Working, grinding. I am feeling so tired right now. I just got an hour of sleep on the train. <laughs> I do not know what any of this stuff means. Corée City. I just want to find a supermarket. We're making our way. We're making our way today. We're going to meet Adrian at the Airbnb. This is Adrian Sage. Agents are Airbnb, guy, the hook up. He was like, yo, you gotta check in at 3 p.m. I was like, this is not happening, no, we're checking in at 12. He was <laughs> like, okay, okay, I get everything ready. And so here we are at the Airbnb, and now we're gonna crash out. And we have woken up, we're refreshed, it's 9 p.m. in Paris, and something amazing has just happened. Nick has arrived. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Nick, Nick is my magician's assistant. You remember him from Miami. I flew him out to Ultra Music Festival. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he had a few weeks off this summer. I was like, bro, let me fly you out to Paris. What do you say? You're like, oui, oui. Oui, oui. <laughs> he said, oui, oui. So this vlog is about giving you guys a little insight into the magic lifestyle. We're getting ready for a big day of filming tomorrow at Lola Palooza, this big French festival. We want to smash French people react to magic because that's what it's all about. It's about getting different reactions. Magic is a way of communication. It's a way of reaching international audience. Even though they can't speak the language, they can still understand what's going on. And that's the agenda here with, with traveling to new cities. We're going to cover a little props in the bag that Nick has brought over from America. What we got, Nick? This is an ancient Egyptian sword. Yo, I, I think I can swallow that, bro. Give me. Be careful, please. <laughs> uh, bro, please, I'm a professional. Ooh. 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 You alive? Wake up! Julius, wake up! Now, I'm trying to do the vlog to give you guys more insight into my life, what's going on right now. Um, I've been trying on and off for <laughs> like a year, like doing a bit of vlogging and a bit of vlogging here, a bit of vlogging there. But I really want to get into it properly. And last week we had something crazy happen to me. I managed to get a collaboration with no other than Mr. Champagne Puppy himself, which is pretty cool. And I want to show you guys exactly what happened. What's your favorite superhero? Batman. 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 Oh. Wait, 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 what's he doing? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What? <laughs> Let me see that, let me see that! Oh, 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 o
anyway, it was pretty crazy. It went viral all over the internet. Trending on Worldstar, 9gag Reddit. We've been planning this collaboration for a while, you know. <laughs> yeah, me and Drake, we're uh, friends. <laughs> Anyway, the backlog of the story was that he was having a launch party for his new album, Scorpio. He was like, come down to the party. I was like, hell yeah. We got there a few hours early at Annabelle's Super Bougie Club in Mayfair, which is a very posh part of London. I had my boy Neil filming me. Neil's my favourite videographer, magician, consultant, no offence, sorry I don't cry. That's the story. I was in the club. Um, we'd arranged to kind of meet up. Popped his head out. I hit him with a quick magic trick, the lollipop. <laughs> and yeah, he was absolutely mind blown. And... That is the story of uh, my little collabsy with uh, Drakey Poo. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the vlog, guys. Keeping it short and sweet. Want to give you guys a bit of insight into life right now. Paris, Drake, Lola Peloza, Polo Peloza, blah, blah, blah. Nick's here. Sebastian's here. We've got a good team. Is a magic lifestyle. I will see you in the next vlog. Take it easy. Peace.